Yo, we're back. We're here to look at Madden 24 official gameplay reveals and details. Um, already looking at the graphics. Nice job, EA. But the question is, how are you doing with the animations? Okay. The physics, I like it. The animations, we'll see. We'll definitely see. I, I, I still don't agree with adding PC to Madden. I know. Don't crossplay with us with them. Like, come on, bro officially madden 24 reveal day we've got some covers to look at we've got a trailer and we've got some information about gameplay franchise mode career mode okay, and more. we're gonna dive into all of that but world? make sure to subscribe with the bell icon on because we're gonna be dropping a ton of madden 24 news for the next few weeks even some exclusive gameplay will be coming at some point so you don't want to miss okay. out on that so we're gonna dive into okay. this trailer first right, then we'll come back the, here and talk about block. all the other information that you need to know i was made for this and now I'm rebuilt okay. and rewired. Okay. Teammates who have my back. The running animations look a little different. Just like I have theirs. So when I hit, cut, nice, and scramble, <laughs> nice. The are they fell. actually got chop blocks. My like cutbacks. Oh. When it's time to show down. Him, I was done. I by the rules. Off the cuff and on the run. No, they doing that animation. Making plays Stop playing. The game, baby. Stop playing. This is gonna be very like a very animated Small Madden, bro. Stages. I write the script. That's new. I'm one. the star. Now, as most of you know by now, Josh Allen is the official cover nice athlete. Cover. Some of you have already seen the standard cover. Beautiful but what cover. I think is really cool is the deluxe cover because it actually features Bill's Mafia. The first time that a fan base has ever been front and center on the cover. So I think that was a pretty cool way to pay mm. tribute to one of the most passionate fan bases in the NFL. Now, we definitely yeah, I ain't seen no passion like that since that the trailer, Seattle Seahawks. A bunch of new animations for tackling, for passing. They left some other breadcrumbs in there as well. I'm going to do a deeper breakdown on the trailer and some things that you may have missed a little bit later on. But keep in mind the first day trailer that's really not how the game is going to look when we're playing it it's a lot of cinematic up close shots it's just meant to hype you up the real okay. info for the game starts coming a little bit later on when they do okay. their deep dives in the gameplay and okay. franchise and stuff like that but today we do have some of the bullet point information about what you can expect and it's some pretty big information in my opinion so first we're going to start with gameplay here's what we know so far hit everything 2.0 hit everything expands with new contested catch tackle types that provide more control and tackle variety on defense tackle animations are selected more dynamically which unlocks new and more fluid tackle animations like wrap and scoop tackles which okay wait wait, wait. go back go back go back to the, go back to it types that nice like wrap and scoop tackle so scoop tackles i'm assuming that has to do with uh the x button like if, if it is the x button because we're talking you're diving at their feet you pick them up and Hit them, like slam them or something like that. The wrap tackle, like the A button or the X button for PlayStation people. Um, controls over the tackles. I mean, I'm not sure how a lot of people on, uh, on the Madden community is going to be able to control not being able to hit stick so much. Because people, are, so many people are hit stick happy. Like, they want that fumble so bad that they will literally risk a wide open uh, run because they want to just hit stick you. You feel me? But we'll see. Provide more control and tackle variety on defense. Tackle animations are selected more dynamically, which unlocks new and more fluid tackle animations like wrap and scoop tackles, which we saw some of those in the trailer. I got to play the game for a little bit as well, and you're definitely going to see a lot of new tackle animations this year or situations where, you know, a smaller guy is going to tackle at the legs instead of trying to tackle up high. And when Thank bigger you. guys are going to scoop tackle you or just completely drive you backwards because they outweigh you by a lot, which makes the game okay. look a lot more realistic. That's, that's beautiful. That is very much beautiful because, um, like I said, I'm still making that, that Legends roster again. I know it's going to take a while to make. It's about that time again. But once, I think I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to pre-order the game because typically once I pre-order, I get started with the roster. I don't typically play Ultimate Team or anything else yet. But once I do get started, I get started. Simple. 
Based passing 2.0. Dive for a winning one-hander with improved catching AI. Thread the needle with surgical accuracy using new throw animations and anticipate more authentic defense reactions with enhanced DB behavior introduced in skill-based passing 2.0. This doesn't really explain too much about what the new passing system is like. It's really just building off of what this they did last year. Warning. But I will say one thing that is very noticeable this year and a lot better is how receivers catch in stride. They don't do that slow down and like chop their feet when they're going to catch the ball they will catch the ball out in front or in stride way more often and it just makes the game not only look better but it allows you to get the big plays in situations where you're supposed to rather than kind of stopping and getting suction tackled and just completely ruining the play ai enhancements smarter ai enables smoother and more realistic player action and reaction to the plays you call providing more confidence your ai teammates will execute your game plan the we need to read this because ai be acting stupid sometimes QB awareness and behavior. Okay. Ball carrier, AI, and pathfinding. Sure. Uh, blocking AI and open field targeting. DB awareness and pass coverage is what we need the most. We need that the most. Uh, post play emotion enhancement. Post play emotion enhancement? Like, okay. So I'm guessing the um, the momentum bar is, is going to add emotions to the damn field. Okay, that's a little weird, but all right. Way you intend. QB awareness and behavior, ball carrier AI and pathfinding, blocking AI and open field targeting, DB awareness and pass coverage, post play emotion enhancements all these things right here actually make a pretty big difference for example running backs if you notice in madden a lot of times they will completely ignore the hole they're supposed to run through and just run right into a pile of traffic from what i saw they don't really do that too much anymore the blocking okay, ai good. mostly on that. run plays is definitely better this year i won't say so much for pass plays because that i really didn't notice but on run plays they actually block a lot better than they did in years past they peel off of the double team and get to the next guy also the post play emotion enhancements is one of the smaller but cooler things in my opinion because in between each play you actually see a lot of new scenes that make sense where the players are showing emotion and doing things that make sense to what is happening on the field and what just happened in the past play instead of okay. just kind of seeing guys mindlessly walk around after the play and maybe one guy <laughs> celebrating okay. you kind of get more people in on the action there's a whole bunch of different new scenes here and really what it does is it just makes the game feel fresh it doesn't okay. make it feel like you're playing the same game okay. and seeing the same few post play animations that you've seen for years it's actually one of the smaller but really great things about this game in my opinion franchise mode i know a lot of you have been waiting for this and we saw a little breadcrumb in the trailer here set the stage to be super bowl powerhouse you've got some exciting updates to franchise mode that are only available on ps5 xbox series x slash s and the pc version such as upgrade your team with fan favorite mini games returning to madden nfl 24 Test your skills with dozens of new mini games, including moving obstacles and destructible targets in franchise training camp or weekly strategy. Okay. Utilize a streamlined team relocation feature with new cities, logos, and uniforms to create your own franchise story. Okay. Build your future using free agency 2.0 by restructuring contracts and making counter offers to cornerstone players. Acquire and retain superstars using 50 new unique draft generators. Acquire and retain superstars using 50 new unique draft generators. Okay, never mind. I'm new thinking trade they got logic new stuff. tuning, six trade slots, and new talent trees for coaches. Use new commissioner tools to customize your experience in online and offline connected leagues. Now, of course, they're going to go much deeper on this stuff and talk about some of the other smaller things that are coming for franchise at a later date. But this just gives you an idea. Mini games are back. They're super fun to play. It's probably my favorite thing that's coming back to the game. If you know me, I've been talking about this for years, but they're fun to play. The six trades trade slots are pretty important people have been asking about that for years the new contract restructuring is super important and they're finally updating the relocation stuff i'd like to see them add create a team back eventually but at least for now they're updating relocation so they're definitely locked in on franchise and doing some good things this year now let's talk about some other things in the game mini games mini games are also playable from the main menu and are a great way to have fun on the couch while learning how to master madden nfl 24 with dozens of new mini games available at launch fans will have a variety of high scores to set across all 
offense defense and special teams now of course they're bringing this back from the ps2 days but they're way better than they used to be they look way better number one but number two they added like 25 of them and i believe back in the day i mean they didn't have 25 so they definitely added a lot of new ones but brought back some of the fan favorite ones that you would expect as well superstar the league achieve greatness in your nfl career with game changing control thanks to field sense customize your avatar and build your legacy progressing from the combine to draft pick to 99 overall navigate all new mini games and live player grading across a variety of positions so superstar mode is also back i've been talking about this for years i knew it was going to happen eventually it's here no more face of the franchise although i'll say this looks more like a bridge from face of the franchise you know what? To superstar I don't that that honestly the, the superstar the league kind of reminds me of a. Uh... It reminds me of that. I can't because I don't play it so much. It reminds me of that. Uh, that one section we are allowed to uh, off the yard, off the yard. It reminds me of of off the yard. Is it called off the yard or the yard? It's just the yard, or just the yard. So I think it's called the yard. It reminds me of the yard where you're creating yourself and you're, you're kind of building up yourself to reach an idea. I don't think it's the true old school superstar yet. It's kind of a mesh between the two, but this is definitely way better than what face of the franchise has been and they're calling it superstar for a reason because they know it's definitely better than what face of the franchise was superstar showdown show off and show out in this all new atmosphere progress your avatar and play with and against friends in a 3v3 matchup call your plays on the fly like a dominant superstar get real-time player grading and do it in style sporting the hottest gear in the game so i, I believe this is kind of just like the evolution of the yard it's now superstar showdown it's 3v3 there's no ai teammates it's all user versus user who can be the best user so i think kind of a better way to integrate this with superstar than what the yard actually was because there was too much ai and it just didn't really feel as organic as i think this will feel but only time will tell and yes the game superstar ko has actually been decent and they i'm not put gonna lie out some info on this number one being that Crossplay can be turned off if you choose Thank to you. on your console, which is a good thing because some people don't want to have crossplay enabled. Crossplay will you. only be available for PC, PlayStation 5, and the Xbox Series X. No crossplay. So if you're on we don't like y'all. Crossplay is not going to be there. Crossplay will support head to head Madden Ultimate Team, Superstar KO, Ultimate and Team. Superstar Showdown. Oh, but one key important thing to note here is the Ultimate Team auction house will not be currently shared across platforms, meaning you will not be able to trade or use coins to get items from users on other platforms you can use crossplay okay. to match up in head to head but the okay. auction houses will not be shared and i believe the reason for that is probably because they know people would bot the auction house and would just completely destroy the game yes. and here is the pre-order information for the standard versus the deluxe as usual the deluxe is mostly going to be ultimate team related but you do get to play the game three days early that's really the biggest selling point of the got, deluxe okay, edition for me. so if you want to play the game three days early you get the deluxe if you don't play mutt and you don't care about playing three days early then there's no reason to spend extra for it, just to be honest with you. Now, I'm going to have a ton of videos. All right. It doesn't sound too bad. Uh, let's go over each of the, the game modes. So we got so we got um, tutorials or whatever, skill-based mini camp or whatever that stuff is. It sounds fun just because I, because Gauntlet, I think is when I was doing Gauntlet on Man 23. It was pretty fun. Depends on how long you can last. Um, the exhibition really just depends on animation. I have to play it first to really understand. Uh, franchise, I don't, I still don't see the hype. Only, only run franchise when I do the Legends roster. Like I said, you know, whenever I finish the Legends roster, I will open up the community to actually play in a franchise with me. Um, what else? Ultimate Team. I'm going I'm to honestly keep my crossplay off the entire time because I don't like that idea. I'm sorry. Because if you turn on crossplay, it enables not only P, uh, PlayStation, but PC. And I don't want PC players playing against me. I'm sorry. It, I don't like the idea. Um... I mean, honestly, from what it looks like, it's fine. <clears throat> but it is a make or break Madden. EA, I really hope you, you come through. If you don't, say goodbye to the community, bro. Comment, subscribe, down below, support Black Minister. We out.